sat under an ancient oak. This tree has got to be one of my favourites. Highly prized amongst the Druids, the oak tree was considered to be blessed by the hand of God because mistletoe would often choose um, oak as its host and would live high in the trees and the Druids always prized this one. So here we have the oak blessed by the gods. Oak is amazing. It's high of tannins. In herbal medicine, we used uh, Quercus, it's called. We used the bark, and the bark is very, very, like I said, it's high of tannins, and that means it's really um, drying. It draws fluids, and so we find that it's particularly good at stopping diarrhea in its tracks, but do see a herbalist before you start recommending um, oak bark. But what you can do for yourself right now, in fact, today, and this is a, a lesser known fact, to be honest, and that the oak really is a superfood in modern days. Um, it has these little guys. These are the acorns. Look at these little beauties. Whoops. Look at these little beauties. Oh, glant in French, bless it. But these little beauties are basically, if you like, they're poor man's hazelnuts or just poor man's anything they're just growing here they just drop we find tiny little oak trees growing everywhere they're amazing and it will take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years for oak to grow into a big tree i mean really this 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 beautiful beauty behind me is very very old it's an amazing amazing old tree now this is a nut that you can eat this is a superfood full of omega-3s, full of potassium, full of iron, vitamin E, vitamin A, niacin. This is unbelievable. And it's on our doorsteps everywhere in the UK. I mean, in Cyprus, I had a good old friend that was an, that was an oak tree. So there are, there are many, many, many oaks the world over. Start collecting your nuts. It's very ecological. It's very economical. But what you need to know, though, is you've got to soak these little ones because you'll see, you know, I said that it was full of tannins. You'll see when you sit them in water, the water will start to go brown. So what you need to do is to keep washing out that water, keep washing out that water until the water runs clear. Then you can roast these. Now I've seen many different recipes, some with sugar and butter. You roast them with sugar and butter, that looks delicious. And some you with salt, some just on their own, maybe a few little herbs on there. So you go with, you go with what you fancy, but these are a real treasure to find in nature. I mean, right now in, in the season is uh, the autumn time and you'll find that these are just the most edible and most tasty nut and most inconspicuous nut, but giving strong oak. In all the um, ancient cultures, especially the North American Indians and the ancient Europeans, you'll find that they all used these, along with the chestnuts, the hazelnuts, and all the other things growing in the hedgerows. But these were a highly prized nut. And they were not just ignored and forgotten about like we have these days. So get back to remembering them. But whatever you do, don't eat them like this. Very, very, very bitter. Best, like I said, soak them until the water runs clear, then roast them fantastic and uh, yep they also will work particularly well for um, uh, diarrhea and for, and for drawing things so they're particularly good high source of protein absolute superfood omega-3s absolutely full-on so excellent now I'm going to keep looking around to see what's growing this time of year and every time of year and I'm going to keep doing these little short videos if, if you're up for it um, if you like them please say like click and also if you please subscribe and press a little ding ding and I can and it can let you know when I'm going to be doing more of them because hey I enjoy it but you know I'm doing it because actually uh, you're giving me the feedback that this is something that you want to hear so you want to hear more please do that that'd be great take care bye bye